a very good morning seventh class today we will start our next chapter chapter 6 elements of weather and climate this is a part of the geography and uh, here is a given some learning objectives that we will read in this chapter these are weather and climate temperature atmospheric pressure permanent pressure belts types of winds humidity condensation and precipitation okay so now let's start the chapter dear students the clothes we wear and the food we eat depend largely on the climate of the place where we live. Do you know that climate is different from weather? Weather is the day-to-day -day conditions of the air at a particular place. It can be described as sunny, cloudy, rainy, windy and foggy. On the other hand, the climate of a place is the pattern of weather conditions over a long period of time for about 35 to 40 years. The landform of an area influence its climate and the temperature and rain are the two important elements that affect climate. Dear students, students, you must have seen the weather forecast on the TV or on your mobile phone. Usually, the icons given below are used to denote the forecast or show the current weather condition. Can you guess what the following icons represent? These icons are known as weather icons. These weather icons indicate the atmospheric conditions of a particular place at a particular time of the day. You may have noticed that atmospheric conditions often vary even during the day. In order to be prepared for the day's activities, we often check the daily weather forecast. A day can have a sunny morning, a cloudy noon, a heavily clouded evening and a rainy night. So, we can say the weather is the day-to-day -day condition of the atmosphere. On the contrary, climate is the average condition of the weather in an area over a long period, say 35 years. Now let we understand the definition of weather. Weather refers to the atmospheric condition at a place for a short period. And climate, climate refers to the atmospheric condition experienced over a long period of time. Got it? Students, uh, weather and climate have some basic elements and they are Location, temperature, air pressure, wind, humidity, precipitation, rainfall and sun sunshine or cloudiness. The difference lies in the degree and duration of these elements. Both the weather and climate affect our lives to a great extent. Weather influences our daily activities clothes and foods. In summer, we feel warm because the air is warm and while in winter, we feel cold due to the cold air. Coolers air condition, conditioners and heaters modify the surrounding air temperature. So, how do we define air temperature? Air temperature is the degree of hotness or coldness of the air. 
students we know that the temperature changes between day and night and between different seasons when we say the summer are hotter than winters we mean that the temperature during summer is higher than it is winter but why does temperature change an important factor influencing the temperature of a place is insulation which is amount of solar energy received by the surface of the earth in a given time now let us understand how the variation of the amount of sunshine received by different regions affect the temperature of the respective places the amount of solar radiation solar radiation received by a region closer to the poles the reasons for the phenomenon is the spherical shape of the earth the sun's rays strike directly at the equator and thereby focus on a smaller area on the other hand the solar radiation spread over a wider space near the poles hence the insulation decreases as we move from the equator to the poles and change in season this change in season is due to the tilt of the earth's axis and the revolution of the earth around the sun other factors responsible for the change in the temperature from one place to another are altitude distance from the sea winds and oceans currents you may noticed you may have noticed that cities remain significantly warmer than rural areas cities do not have open spaces and natural vegetation like rural areas as a result the incoming solar energy does not fall on the vegetation or the soil cover instead the heat it heats the roads and buildings building material such as concrete metal and asphalt get extremely heated up during the day this stored energy in roads and other structure gets slowly released into the air this eventually shows down the cooling process at night besides the increasing number of mo mo automobiles playing on the city roads and the heat generated by air conditioners and similar machines further delay the cooling process hence cities remain warmer than rural areas both during the day as well as at night and the students the earth temperature does not get heated directly by the sun since the earth is solid it gets heated first when the air comes in contact with the heated surface of the earth it gets heated too okay now this is the elements of weather temperature and the temperature is measured by an instrument called a thermometer the unit commonly used to measure temperature is a degree celsius it was invented by anders celsius in the celsius scale the freezing point and the boiling point of a water are 0 degree celsius and 100 degree celsius respectively do you know students the earth receives only a fraction of the sun's energy about 1 in 20 billion parts the rest goes into different directions in space and the students the thermometer either use a fahrenheit scale or a centigrade scale both the scales measure the temperature in degree 
द स्टैंडर्ड यूनिट ऑफ मेजरिंग टेम्परेचर इन इंडिया इज अ डिग्री सेल्सियस दो वी कॉमनली यूज अ सेंटीग्रेड स्केल द वेदर बुलेटिन यूज द वर्ड सेल्सियस इंस्टेड ऑफ सेंटीग्रेड बिकॉज इट वॉज इन्वेंटेड बाय एंडर्स सेल्सियस टू फाइंड आउट द मैक्सिमम एंड मिनिमम टेम्परेचर ऑफ द डे अ स्पेशल इंस्ट्रूमेंट कॉल्ड सिक्स मैक्सिमम एंड मिनिमम थर्मोमीटर इज यूज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द मैक्सिमम एंड मिनिमम टेम्परेचर ऑफ द डे इज कॉल्ड द डायरिनल रेंज ऑफ टेम्परेचर द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द मैक्सिमम एंड मिनिमम टेम्परेचर रिकॉर्डेड ड्यूरिंग अ डे सॉरी ड्यूरिंग अ ईयर इज नोन एज द एनुअल रेंज ऑफ द टेम्परेचर वी कैन फाइंड आउट द एवरेज टेम्परेचर ऑफ द डे बाय एडिंग द मैक्सिमम एंड मिनिमम टेम्परेचर ऑफ द डे एंड डिवाइडिंग इट बाय टू ओके एंड इन अ सेंटीग्रेड थर्मोमीटर द फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट इज जीरो डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड द बॉइलिंग पॉइंट इज जीरो डिग्री सेल्सियस आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू नाउ आई एम अगेन रिपीटिंग इन अ फेर एन हाइट थर्मोमीटर द फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट इज थर्टी टू पॉइंट फेर डिग्री फेर एन हाइट एंड द बॉयलिंग पॉइंट इज टू हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व डिग्री फेर एन हाइट is called diurnal range of temperature it means diurnal range of uh, range of temperature denotes the maximum and minimum temperature on of a day only a day okay and uh, the difference between maximum and minimum temperature during a year is called annual range of temperature is that clear student it means annual range of temperature denotes maximum temperature mi, mi, sorry difference between maximum and minimum temperature during a year okay of a day is called diurnal range of temperature and during a year is called annual range of temperature is that clear okay now student here is a given one activity convert the celsius of fahrenheit the formula also given here formula the formula of a converting from celsius to fahrenheit so celsius formula is here f minus 32 given in the bracket multiply by 5 and 9 uh, 5 by 9 okay and to convert from fahrenheit to, uh, to celsius means here converted from celsius to fahrenheit and here is given from fahrenheit to celsius okay so now fahrenheit also c multiply by 9 by 5 given in the bracket plus 32 okay with the help of this formula you have to convert temperature to fahrenheit okay 40 degree celsius and 10 degree celsius it means fahrenheit mein convert karenge to so you have to use this formula now convert the following temperature to celsius 68 degree fahrenheit and 95 degree fahrenheit so you have to use the next another one this formula okay so try to do this activity yourself okay let us have a look at an experiment that will give us idea about the weight of air students what is atmospheric pressure does air have weight this experiment shows tie to deflated balloon balloons of equal size on either side of a cane tie a steering in the middle of the cane and hold the loose end of the string now remove one of the balloons and blow air into it tie it back into the end of the cane look at the images given below and answer the questions in the table 
is the cane balanced in the first image what change can be observed in the second image and what do you think the cane is inclined towards the inflated balloons means we can say uh, we can clearly see in the image given that the cane is inclined towards the inflated balloon this proves that air has a weight although we do not feel it air does ex exert pressure on us we do not feel this pressure due to the pressure exerted by our bodies to counteract it the force exerted by the weight of our per unit area on the earth surface is called air pressure the gravitational pull of the earth holds the atmosphere above the surface of the earth and the earth air pressure is the highest at the lower le lowest level of the earth surface which is the sea level it increases as we move upward because as uh, one goes higher the mass of the overlying atmosphere becomes less the reason for the, this that with an increase in height the number of air molecules decreases and makes the air thinner so air pressure is lower on a mountain than the on the sea or land we are talking about air pressure first of all uh, students air pressure what is air pressure though we cannot see air air occupies space and has a weight the air in the atmosphere exert a force and pressure through its weight the pressure exerted by the weight of the air on the earth surface is known as atmospheric pressure here is a given also the definition of air pressure distribution of temperature is a not similar at all places on the earth why because of difference in temperature air pressure also varies immensely weight of air is known as air pressure and air is a composition of various gases therefore it has a specific weight weight of the air on any unit of area on earth is known as air pressure while it is uh, represented uh, in millibar unit or air expands in summer due to high temperature and in winter it uh, shrinks due to low temperature got it now high temperature causes scanty air and less air pressure while low temperature brings thick air and higher pressure thus differences between air pressure creates air movement from high pressure areas to low pressure areas which is known as wind got it and now temperature and air pressure cause expansion and shrinking of air which further results into distribution of heat and moisture in the atmosphere in normal circumstance average air pressure at sea level is 1013.2 millibar instrument uh, used to measure air pressure is known as barometer got it air pressure now factors affecting air pressure these are temperature height from uh, sea level moisture in air that is called humidity humidity means water vapor present in the air and gravitation of earth rotation of earth also and okay so now we will discuss the first here is a given the temperature what is the temperature students as the temperature increases air expands because of which is density decreases which results in low pressure on the other hand uh, air shrinks due to low temperature because uh, of which its dense density increases which decreases high pressure 
the relation between air pressure and temperature is defined with the following word what when the mercury of thermometer rises mercury of barometer falls means equatorial regions have a low pressure because of high temperature on other hand polar regions have high pressure due to low temperature got it and now next one also given here height from the sea level air pressure is created due to weight of air therefore a sea level has highest air pressure as we move upward from sea level leaving behind the heavy gases at lower layer of atmosphere air pressure decreases because the upper air is light and its density is low there is no fixed rate of fall in the air pressure with increases uh, with increase in height but it decreases with increase in height air pressure is re reduced to half at the height of 5 km from sea level and at the height of 11 km it is reduces in 1/4 and it is because of low pressure in mountains regions that breathing gets hard moisture in the air humidity water vapor present in the air and humidity humidity means air laden with moisture is warmer and hence it is lighter and less dense than dry air this moist air exerts less pressure than dry air okay conversion of water from liquid state of gaseous state because of evaporation is known as atmospheric humidity and water vapors are light in weight therefore they rise up and pressure of humid air decreases as compared to dry air amount of water vapors changes with the time and place and because of the pressure of the air also varies and gravitation of earth also given here atmosphere glues around the world earth due to its gravitation and the intensity of gravitational pull decreases as we get away from core of earth another factor is that uh, as uh, earth rotates around its axis an average distance of polar region and equatorial regions varies from the core of earth for example polar region are nearer to core of the earth as compared to equatorial region and hence have higher air pressure rotation this factor also influencing atmospheric pressure and rotation of earth means rotation of earth produces centrifugal force which has more effect in equatorial regions while lesser effect on polar regions centrifugal force pushes things away from its core some is the effect on air pressure which results into lesser pressure in equatorial regions as compared to that in polar region okay these are the pictures of barometer barometer what is barometer students air pressure is measured in units of millibars and the instrument that is used to measure the atmospheric pressure is known as barometer and it is used in forecasting the weather and it helps in predicting a clear of rainy weather and determining altitude okay and also information such as information also given here A barometer is a scientific instrument that is used to measure air pressure in a certain environment. Pressure tendency can forecast short-term changes in the weather. Many measurements of air pressure are used within surface weather analysis to help find surface trough, uh, pressure system, and frontal boundaries. now here is a given also the some examples a guide to tools used to measure the weather world weather forecast here is a given the types of barometer used to measure the atmospheric pressure
these are the barometer and uh, there are generally two types of barometers mercury barometer mercury barometer and aneroid barometer this is the mercury barometer these are again the points that denotes the factors affecting air pressures these are temperature height from sea level moisture in air and gravitation of earth just read out students factors affecting atmospheric pressure altitude and temperature the height of an object or point in relation to sea level or ground level and the temperature the degree of hotness or coldness of a body or environment and this is altitude altitude the pressure exerted by atmosphere decreases with height or altitude the decreases in pressure is about 1 cm or mercury for every 110 m of ascent this picture shows also just observe it very attentively the atmospheric pressure highest at the sea level highest at the sea level okay and this is because at higher altitudes the air is thinner or less than dense the air at the sea level got it and the temperature also temperature means atmospheric pressure decreases with increases in temperature this is because when the temperature air rises air expands the molecules of air move far apart and hence exert less pressure on the contrary with the decreases in temperature the air gets compressed and the space between molecules decreases because and exerts more pressure on the region now the measure, measuring air pressure some points also atmospheric pressure is measured with the help of a barometer just remember it atmospheric pressure is measured with the help of a barometer the most commonly used barometers are the mercury barometer aneroid barometer and bar barograph barograph uh, it means a uh, meteorological laboratories use an instrument called barograph to record and monitor air pressure got it and the unit of measurement is in the millibar now the variation in temperature over the surface of the earth is due to its shape different regions on the earth receive a different amount of insulation resulting in variations in temperature over different regions this unequal heating of the earth and its atmosphere and the rotation of the earth are the two main factors which are responsible for the formation of pressure belt of the world now the students pressure belt pressure belt means horizontally the distribution of atmospheric pressure is not the same all over the world different parts of the earth are heated unequally like the heat zones we also have four major pressure belts around the earth okay and uh, two factors that create the pressure belts are temperature and rotation of the earth and the permanent pressure belts on the earth are these are first one is a equatorial low pressure belt this is 5 degree north to 5 degree south 
and the subtropical high pressure belt it means 30 degree north to 35 degree north up and uh, from 30 degree south to 35 degree south and the next subpolar low pressure belt 62-65 degree north and 62-65 degree south and the polar high pressure belt 85 degree uh, north to 90 degree north or 85 degree south to 90 degree south okay except the equatorial low pressure belt the other from matching pair in the northern and southern hemisphere there is a pattern of alternate high and low pressure belts over the earth this is due to spherical shape of the earth this diagram shows the pressure belts you can see here in the middle of this diagram the equatorial low pressure belt okay in no direction also you can see subtropical high pressure it is from 30 to 35 degree north and downside south direction you can see 30 to 35 degree south and subpolar low pressure also at 60 degree north you can see and down side you can see 60 degree south now in this uh, video we will study about the weather and the climate and also the elements of weather and climates and the factors influencing atmospheric pressure also in next video we will do the remaining topics and these are equatorial low pressure belts subtropical high pressure belts polar high belts in descriptive way wind and types of wind also so read the chapter once again and watch this video attentively